I will follow you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Like you, Lord, on all the earth, matchless love and beauty, endless world. Nothing in this world can satisfy. It's Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. Sing treasure of my heart. Treasure of my heart and of my soul In my weakness you are merciful Redeemer of my past and present wrong Holder of my future days to come your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me.
you face to face The moment that I see you face to face Nothing in this world can satisfy Nothing in this world can satisfy Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry Nothing in this world satisfy nothing in this world can satisfy jesus you're the cup that won't run dry. jesus you're the cup that won't run dry jesus you're the cup that won't run dry for being a faithful God. Hallelujah, Lord, through every mountain or through every valley over every mountain, God. Lord, through every trial and every victory, God, you are faithful, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, you're faithful. Amen. God, we worship you this morning. Lord, you've never left us. You've never forsaken us, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. The psalmist said, I was young, now I'm old, and I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Hallelujah. He's a faithful God. Lord, you're worthy of praise, God. You're worthy of glory. Amen, amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer for these needs. Amen. We know that our God is a healer. Amen. We know that our God is able to do uh, abundantly above all that we think or ask. And if there's anybody sick in the house, we invite you to come up to the front. Let us anoint you with oil and the prayer of faith will save the sick. Lord Jesus, we love you today. God, Lord, we ask you to touch Sister Donahue this morning. Lord, touch her body totally and completely, Lord. God, touch Donald today, Lord. Whatever that need is, Lord, healing, God. Lord, you could provide it, Lord. In Jesus' name, God, supply the need. Lord, touch Carolyn this morning. Lord, in Jesus' name, God. Lord, we thank you for it, God. Lord, we ask you to have your way in this service. Lord, let the Holy Ghost move in a mighty way, God. Lord, mending hearts and mending lives. Lord, encouraging, Lord, your church, God. In Jesus' name we pray. We love you and we give you the glory and the honor.
won't be satisfied with anything ordinary. We won't be satisfied at all. Open up the sky, fall down like rain. We don't want blessings, we want you. Open up the sky, fall down like fire.
the Lord. Right into, right into his arms. Here we go, let's go to the throne room. Here we go, let's go to the throne room. Oh, the place that we the place belong. That we belong. Right into, right into his arms. Here we go, let's go to the throne room. Here we go, let's go to the throne room. Satisfied with anything ordinary, we won't be satisfied at all. Jesus, Lord, we love you today. Lord, I'm so thankful, Lord Jesus, when we are hurting, when we are in need, oh God, we can run into your arms, Lord Jesus, to that safety, Lord. Just like when our children are hurting, oh God, they come into their parents' arms to be comforted. But God, today, Lord, when adults and all of us are hurting, oh God, we can run into the arms of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for those big arms that wrap us up, God. I'm so thankful I can go to that throne room, oh God, that I can run to you, Lord, for you are my safety. You are my help in my time of trouble, God. You are my comforter, God. You are everything that I need today, God. Lord, I just love you, God. I want to run into those arms today, God. I don't want to run away from you, God, but I want to run to you, Lord, because it's in your arms, oh God, where my help comes. It's in your arms where my healing comes from. It's in your arms where my strength comes from. Oh, I love you, God. It's where I get restored, oh God. It's where I become strong. Here we go, let's go to the small room, the place that we belong to, right into his own. Here we go, let's go to the throne room. Here we go, let's go to the small room, the place that we belong to, right into his own. Satisfied with anything ordinary, we won't be satisfied at all. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Praise God, praise God. In this beautiful place. In this place where we have entered because of his sacrifice, because of his blood. In this throne room where we find ourselves right now wrapped in the arms of Jesus. Let's bind together for the, for the country of Dominican Republic. Let's bind together that the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ will reach every lost soul. And the spirit of God will infill every single person that's in that country. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God, we come before you praying, oh Lord, that every single principality right now be broken, every stronghold be broken, every chain be broken, every single wall in Jesus' mighty name, every person receive the confidence and boldness to remove the bricks and remove the stone and bring down the walls that have caused gap and space between you and them, oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that the gospel, Lord God, reach the ears. Let there be, oh God, an itching in the ears to hear the truth.
truth of the name of Jesus Christ. To hear, oh God, the truth of the gospel that has set our souls free, that has set our life free, that has saved, Lord God, people like us, oh Lord. I pray in Jesus' mighty name that there be a, riot, a revival in the youth over there. There be a revival in the adults. There be a revival like never before seen, oh God. And let the name of Jesus resound, oh God, as a sound blaring glory, glory, glory to the most high God. For you are holy, holy, holy. In the name of Jesus, we pray it so. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, we'd like to make welcome every single one of our guests. Thank you for coming out and worshiping the King of glory, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords with us this morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. As they put their prayer up and the ushers are coming forward, I'd like to ask everybody, don't forget to go around expressing and showing the love of Christ to one another. And please don't forget, pray this prayer with me. I'm not supposed to pray it alone. If I get ahead, just yell, slow down. Amen. In the name of Jesus, upon the authority and by the orders of your word, I have given and it will be given to me. Pressed down, shaken together and running over. I am a tither and a giver, and I bring my tithes and offerings today into your storehouse. Therefore, the enemy is rebuked. The curse is broken. I live under an open heaven. You pour out upon me such a blessing that there is not enough room to receive it. We receive jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, sales and commissions, benefits and settlements, estates and inheritance, bills paid off, debts dismissed, royalties received. My greatest desire is that my whole family will be saved and walking with God in perfect health, abundance, and to walk in divine favor and blessing. I shall be blessed going in. I shall be blessed going out. And all that I do will prosper. In Jesus' name, amen. It is so. Don't forget, bring your tithes and offering. Please don't forget to go around expressing and showing the love of Christ to one another.
up the fame And I'm determined to finish this race I will not give up, I will not back down I will not turn around, I will stand my ground Made up my mind a long, long time ago No matter what they come, no matter what they go your neighbor and say I'm never giving up no matter what comes my way no matter what happens no matter what I have to go through I'm not going to give up hallelujah I have my mind made up I'm going to be like the apostle Paul and I am going to finish my race and I am going to keep my faith hallelujah our book is being written right now. Hallelujah. And I'm determined that that book that is being written right now is going to have a good ending with my name on it. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to keep holding on to the hand of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said he's never going to leave me. He said he's never going to forsake me. He's going to stay with me. And I'm going to keep holding on to his hand. 
Praise God. Praise God. Aren't you glad to be in the house of the Lord? One more time. God's given you another day, given you another opportunity to come to the house of the Lord. And if there's something in your life that God is unhappy with, today is a day to change that. Amen. Amen. Thank God for mercy. Thank God for mercy. Thank God. Hallelujah. Fresh. It's fresh. Ready to be given unto those that repent. And repent's not being sorry. To repent is to change. It's to turn around. Hallelujah. If you'll turn me to Genesis chapter 7. Begin reading verse 11. I've been reading from this scripture for a while lately. Hallelujah. But I'm I'm not going to leave this area until the Lord tells me to. Hallelujah. So God's got something for somebody that's here today. Genesis chapter 7. By the way, it's good to have all of our guests, our visitors that are with us. God bless you. Thank you for being with us. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 7, reading verse 11. And in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, in the seventh day of the month, the same day were all of the fountains of the great deep broken up. And the windows of heaven were opened. And the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights verse 19 and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth and all of the high hills if you want to say mountains you can put that there all of the mountains that were under the whole heaven were covered 15 cubits upward did the waters prevail and the mountains were covered. And I want to title this today, Above All. Above All. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We thank you so much for your word. I thank you, Lord God, today that we can stand in this holy place Knowing that you are with us, I pray that you would speak to us in Jesus' name. And everybody say in Jesus' name. Shake someone's hand, give them the elbow bump, high five or something before you are seated this morning. I'm tapping back into the message that I had preached last Sunday morning. There's so much that is in this that our minds don't quite pick everything up we don't really understand all that went into that flood the miracles in the days of Noah the miracles that that were involved in this that we read were unprecedented It exceeds anything that our mind is really capable of understanding. It wasn't just the rain from the sky that flooded the earth. In my days of growing up, and actually until I was on up in years of life, I really didn't realize all that went on in this the flood. And I always just thought of, you know, it started raining and it just kept raining and it kept raining. But I'm going to tell you something. Something happened immediately that was very powerful. The fountains of the great deep, the Bible says, were broken open. Those fountains from down under, the geysers that began to come up, began to burst forth with a very powerful, powerful force. And the windows of heaven opened up. When we speak flood around here right now, everybody's like, hey, don't talk about that. 
Hallelujah. But we've never seen a flood like this kind of flood where the waters begin to fall from heaven very powerfully and they begin to burst forth from the earth very powerfully. There was a supernatural wonder that was going on that was happening from above and also from below. God opened the floodgates and humanity does not have the ability to imagine what actually was happening. The waters that were coming from deep down in the earth that were bursting forth and the waters that were raining down from heaven like a gusher, a rushing quick, swiftly pouring water upon the earth. And the Bible tells us in Genesis 7 and 19, and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth and all of the hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail and the mountains were covered. I'm going to read this again in the NIV, New International Version. They rose greatly on the earth and all of the high mountains under the entire heavens were covered. The waters rose and covered the mountains to a depth of more than 20 feet doesn't say 20 feet. We don't know exactly how high exactly. But it was a depth of more than 20 feet. The waters of God were above all of the mountains of this world. Just think of that. I mean, that's that's an amazing thing. It lets us know the water was more than 20 feet above all of the mountains of the world. Can I tell you this? The power of God is above all. That is the message here. The power of God is above all. The Word of God is above all. It is the highest. It is the highest law. It is the highest of any word that could ever be spoken. The power that is in the name of Jesus We don't quite understand it, but it is above all. It is a name that is above every name. It is a name that is above all things. It is a name that is above cancer. It is a name that is above your joint issues. It is a name that is above the mental issues that people have. It is a name that is above every name of every physician and any doctor and anything that is upon this earth and in this world that has ever been spoken. The power that is in the name of Jesus Christ is above all things. Hallelujah. 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 This morning I just pray that faith will be activated in this house today. I pray that your faith will be activated. That which we try to analyze things with, our mind, we try our best to analyze everything. Quit trying to analyze it and just take it. The Word of God is true. The Word of God is true. The name of Jesus is true. Praise God. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 21, it says, Far above. Hallelujah. I don't know how far that is, but he's letting you know something right here. He's far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Our God is far above all principalities there's not a demon there's not a devil there's not a curse there's nothing that can stop him hallelujah he's far above all principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but that which is to come our mind cannot wrap around what he is saying hallelujah but somehow some way i pray 
God has kept me in this place right here in the book of Genesis and I just pray today there's somebody they're going to wrap up their mind around something and they're going to believe with everything within their spirit and their heart and their being that God is going to change their situation God is bigger than their problem is he's bigger he's far above he is much bigger and greater than your problem is and your situation is and your sickness and your disease and the financial dilemma that you are in this God that we preach about this God that's name is Jesus hallelujah put your hands together with me this morning come on let's take our time a minute I want you just to open up your Holy Ghost feelers and allow the presence and the power of God allow the word of God to move through your spirit to move through your heart your mind and your very being hallelujah amen something that the Lord says in the word that the seed the word of God it's 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 also like seed and he talks about there's many different grounds that it doesn't bring forth its fruit there's only one ground that brings forth fruit and that's that heart that is sensitive and open and it will receive it hallelujah come on hallelujah is your heart ready for this is your heart ready for this this morning Are you ready to receive this? Come on, God's not some fable. He's not some story out there about this is true stuff. This is above everything that you have ever gotten upon this earth. It's the Word of God. It's going to continue. Heaven and earth is going to pass away. It's going to happen. Just like the Word of God says it's going to happen. And the kingdom of God is going to last forever. And it's going to last forever and forever and forever and forever and forever and forever. The Bible tells us that ark was more than 20 feet above all of the highest mountains upon this world. The highest mountain, you began to go back and just began to look. You will find Mount Everest being the highest mountain Its peak is 29,029 feet. The ark of God was floating far beyond 29,029 feet. It was, come on somebody, it was above, it was more than 20 feet, above 29,029 feet. Hallelujah. David Woods, he had mentioned something. Amen. And that is, uh, Brother Mike's in here, but at an altitude of 10,000 feet, you got to start pressurizing your cabin. I don't know what all was going on right here, but they were way over 29,029 feet. (laughs) Hallelujah. And you have something here that's got holes all in it. You can't pressurize that. Something happened, was going on in all of this. There was some miracles were happening from every direction and every angle. They were inside God's cocoon. He said, I'm going to cover you. Come on, I believe in this covering. I believe in the blood of Jesus Christ. I do believe. I do believe when we're covered by the blood. There's not a demon. There's not a power from darkness. There's nothing that can penetrate or get through. I do believe in this covering. I believe in this pressurized cabin under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I I do believe in this miracle that we are living in this very moment right now. I do believe there's power in the blood. I do believe by stripes we are healed. I do believe the curse is broken. Everything Satan's got to put upon you cannot work because you are under the blood. You are covered. You are protected. All principalities and all powers and all might and all dominion cannot get to you because you are covered and with him you are far above all the principalities and the powers hallelujah 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 come on like I said this morning I'm um, I'm just praying and believing somebody is going to see a miracle happening in their very spirit I'm believing this morning somebody is going to see some dark clouds rolling out of your mind Uh, things that have been keeping you depressed Uh, things that have been discouraging you Uh, as you have been looking at that big mountain uh, I want you to see it from a different perspective Uh, I want you to see it through the word of God Uh, I want you to see it through the name of Jesus I want you to see it through the power of the almighty the almighty God far above all principality and power and might and dominion far above all sickness
sickness and disease and blood issues and mental issues and health issues. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Faith has got to be activated in here. Faith. Don't come in this house looking at your 100 foot mountain and feeling hopeless. Don't come in here looking at your 100 foot mountain and feeling like this is it. This is the way it's going to be. I don't believe that. God that I serve is above all. God that I serve is called the almighty God. He's called the all powerful God. It even says he's the all in all. He's the all in all. Come on, I've come in the Holy Ghost this morning. I've come to prophesy to this church there's not a mountain that my Lord can't handle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said there's not a mountain that my God can't handle. There's not a problem that my God can't handle. There's not an issue. There's not a dilemma. There's no deception that's going to sneak up on him and catch him off guard. Your mountain may seem so big to you, but my God is much greater than that mountain. He's much bigger than that mountain. He's far above all principality. I don't care if you say, well, it's the devil. Forget the devil. I'm preaching right now. Forget the devil. Forget the devil. He's far above all principality. Well, the devil, look what the devil's doing. No, no. No, we're going to talk about what God's going to do right here. We're talking about what God's doing right now. Come on, we're going to testify about what God's doing. We're not here to tell nobody about what the devil. The devil can't do nothing if the, do, the, the Lord don't allow him to do it. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I don't care how big your problem. I don't care how wide it is. I don't care how high it is. I don't care how thick it is. I don't care the substance of which it is made of. That mountain is not going to stop God. Hallelujah. The word of God is true. Amen. And let everybody else be a liar. The word of God is truth. My God is more than enough. My God is more than enough. He can supply all of my need. He is my El Shaddai. He, come on, he looks out for me. He's Jehovah Jireh. That's my God. My God, the provider. My God above all demons. My God above all forces of darkness. My God is above every authority that walks in this earth. There is not a company owner that has the power nor can touch what my God is. My God is the one that controls the finances. My God is the one that takes care of me. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on. Let Jesus wrap his arms around you this morning. Let him wrap you up in his cocoon this morning. Let him cover you in that supernatural safety where nothing can touch you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 91 and 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high um, mm, 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 mm. hallelujah 
Come on. He's not saying he that found him a nice cave in the highest mountain. But the one that radar can't find. The one that all the radar that this world's got can't pick you up. But I'm talking about a place and a secret place of the most high. Hallelujah. We shall abide under the shadow of the almighty, of the almighty, of the almighty, of the almighty. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Something may be going on in your body, but it can be reversed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I dwell under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. He is my fortress. He is my God. And in Him will I trust. Hallelujah. Come on, I just want to take my time. Don't want to get in a hurry. You go to the doctor, you just got to take your time. They don't get in no hurry, I'm going to tell you right now. It's not going to get in no hurry. You got to get your MRI done. And then they some other tests they, they you want you to take and some other thing they want to put you in. And don't get in no hurry. It's going to be a while. Hallelujah. And they want to take care of doing chemotherapy. I'm doing something much better than that. There's a covering. There's a covering. There's a secret place under the Almighty. Hallelujah. You have something that the principalities don't have. You have something that the forces of darkness or the fallen angels, you can call them demons, they don't have. And that is a covering. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad to have this covering? And when God sends the flood, it's a supernatural flood that comes from the deep and from above. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's no evil, there's no devil, and there's no sin that cannot be exposed and removed. There's nothing that can withstand the Almighty God, and there's no hiding place. We think with the enemy, you know, they're they're getting their arsenal ready. The enemy, the opportunity to attack with surprise is is the strategy of an enemy. Satan can't do that. Job 26 and 6, hell, it's naked before God. Has no clothing, has no covering, and destruction has no hiding place. It has no covering. Has no place it can get and be out from under the radar and catch God by surprise or catch his children by surprise. Hallelujah. The Hebrew word for hell in this scripture is shol, which means the unknown. Shol is the Hebrew equivalent of the Greek word Hades, which means the unseen world. What the Word of God is telling us is the unseen spirit world that you and I cannot see, that's invisible unto your eye and my eye. It's not invisible to God's eye. He sees it. They have no hiding place. They have no place to form their weapons. You know, right now in those other countries, they got their little hiding places and they work on their nuclear bombs and all that stuff. Satan doesn't have an arsenal that he can put together and then catch God by surprise. That unseen spirit world is naked and it is exposed before God. 
That unseen spirit world has no covering, has no hiding place. There is no weapon formed against the church that can prosper. There is no weapon that has ever been made that can prosper. There is no mountain that Satan would try to hide into where he can hide in. It's not possible. He is standing open and naked before God. I'm going to preach to you. There's not a fire hot enough. Hallelujah. I never forget that story about the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hallelujah. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget that because you're going to find out there's a God. And that God's above all. It's above all the heat this world's got to give. The fire that we see that will burn us. Friend, I'm going to tell you right now. If God says don't let it touch you, it's not going to touch you. And you're not even going to smell like smoke. (laughs) Hallelujah. We think, you know, it's kind of impossible to not be burned. Go back to the smoke thing. You won't even smell like smoke. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know what? We need to live for God like they live for God. How'd they live for God? Our God's going to deliver us. Hallelujah. But if not, I'm going to keep serving him. I'm going to keep living for him. I'm going to keep on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If not, I'm going to just keep on praising him and keep worshiping. I'm going to keep living for him. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. I'm serving him because I love him. And I'm serving him because he's my Lord and he's my God. That's who he is. And I'm going to serve him. I am determined. I am not going to live for the death. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, he had my life at one time. He had my marriage at one time. He had my days at one time. He had my mind messed up in confusion at one time. But praise God, he couldn't keep me because I said yes to the Lord as the preacher was preaching the word of God. I said, I'm going to say yes today. I am tired of running. I'm tired of hiding. I'm tired of running from this. I am surrendering. I'm giving up. And when I did that, my life has never been the same never has been the same there's not a fire hot enough there's not a mountain high enough there's not a wall thick enough or wide enough there's not an army that is great enough there's not an evil that is hideous enough that can prevail against the church The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Genesis 7 and 19, the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth. I'm going to read that again. Genesis 7 and 19, and the waters prevailed exceedingly there was nothing there was no foundation there was no obstacles there was nothing that could stop the power of God they prevailed exceedingly upon the earth and all of the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered 15 cubits upward did the waters prevail and the mountains were covered which means over 20 feet now I want you to raise your hand and this is a trick question raise your hand if you really feel like you're real smart I mean, you, you know, you really pride yourself in how smart you are. Pretty intelligent folks. Sometimes I can take something out of a box and put it together without reading instructions. Most time I can't. I always realized that little doomahickey right there really was important. I was going to throw that away. 
that can't mean too much. And no, the person that engineered all that said that little bitty thing right there is very important. We sometimes pride ourselves on how intelligent we are. Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20. Now unto God that's able to do exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or you can think. Some of y'all are pretty smart folks. You can think some big things. God said, I, uh, uh, I'm far above that. Far above that. Unto him that is able to do exceeding. Everybody say that with me. Exceeding. Unto him that is able to do exceeding. This is my God. This is my God. This is the one that we are to proclaim and preach. This word right here. The God that is above all things. I want to help somebody this morning. I want to help somebody get their miracle. I want to help somebody get their deliverance. I don't care how big that chain is you're dealing with. I don't care how deep those sins go into your very being and your spirit. I don't care how many crawlers that wrap around you that come out of the pit of hell. Got their attachments unto your mind and unto your spirit trying to put perversion and all that trash and junk that causes humanity not even know if they're male or female anymore. I don't care how deep all that stuff goes. I'm serving a God that can rip it all out. Hallelujah. And set you free. Put you in your right mind. Put clothes on your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Change where you're going. Who you're hanging out with. How you're living. What you're drinking. What you... Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm preaching about a God that set me free and set the people in this house free. I'm preaching about a God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, there is deliverance and there is power. Every satanic force has to leave at the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 People still trying to decide whether or not they're going to believe this Jesus name baptism. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, Satan believes in it and he trembles when he hears the name. He trembles when he hears the name. He doesn't tremble when he hears a title. He doesn't tremble when he hears the title. But when he hears the name of Jesus, friend, he knows there's no power. There's nothing he's got. There's no stronghold he's got. When the name of Jesus is spoken, hallelujah, something happens from the almighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, I'm going to get to heaven. You see that ark above everything? That's what I'm in right now. That's what I'm in right now. Let the world go crazy. Let them all lose their mind. They don't, oh. I'm preaching this and I'm going to keep preaching it. You better get ready. The Lord is about to take his church out of here. We keep sitting back and think, preach all. We remember the old timers. No, friend, you better listen up. God is about to get his people out of here. Our children cannot continue being raised up in this trash. They cannot continue as children in a sponge in this world receiving the trash that this world is trying to feed into their spirit and their minds. Something's got to happen. Something's got to happen. This old ship, it is a floating right now. And it's above all that junk and all that trash and all that satanic stuff. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're about to get out of the boat. Hallelujah. Jesus told his disciples, get in the boat. They got in the boat. They dealt with the storm. He stopped it all and they got off on the other side. We've been in the storm and we're about to get out of the boat. We're going to step on Zion. We're going to put our feet on a place that is unmovable, that is unshakable, that is untouchable. (laughs) 
Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on. That deceptive is deception. He said that the very elect are going to be deceived. We listen to this. Hear me today. Amen. There's all this stuff that they call in churches, and we're we're all moving toward fame and we're moving this. No, friend, that's not right. That's not right. That's not the message. That's not the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to preach this truth. There's still under only one salvation. There's not two. There's not three. And man can't decide. It's not up to you to decide this. Hallelujah. That's why he said there's going to be 12. 12 disciples, 12. And that message they preach is the message. After the death of the testator, the will becomes effective. The will of God is repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and receive the Holy Ghost. You gotta be born in the water and you gotta be born of the Spirit. There's a two thing here. The friend, those disciples wanted to make sure they were baptized in Jesus' name and they received the Holy Ghost. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of God is quick. That word quick doesn't make a whole lot of sense. King James Version there. Hebrews 4 and 12. The word of God is quick. Do you know what that means? It means it's active. It's alive. The Word of God is quick, or it is active right now. It is powerful, and it is sharper. Everybody say above all. It's not a sword. I'm a guy, and guys kind of get into things like knives. On my desk in there, I got a knife somebody gave me as a gift, made up with bone handle and all that stuff. And every now and then I'll take it off my desk and I'll get up here to my hair on my arm. Leave me a little bald spot. And I look at that knife and I say, whew. But that thing's sharp. Just take it up against your hair. Your hair is falling off as that blade is going down your arm. He said the word of God is uh, it's active right now. And it is sharper than anything you've ever seen in this world. Buddy, it can do some cutting, I'm going to tell you. It can do some shaving. It can get down into the inner being of a person. You don't have nothing in you that's hidden from God. There's not a thought that has crossed your mind. There's not something you're doing in the secret place where nobody knows anything about it. Don't you feel good and safe about that? It is totally exposed. This word is so accurate. Powerful. Active. Alive right now. Sharper than any two-edged sword or object or cutting instrument. Piercing even the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, of the joints and of the marrow. It is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of your heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in its sight, but all things are naked and opened unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Romans 8 and 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken. Oh, I'm going to say that again. If the spirit, that's a capital S, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you. 
He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also activate your mortal bodies by His, capital S, Holy Spirit that dwells in you. What are you saying and where are you heading, Pastor? Here's where I'm heading. Mountain moving faith is being activated right now. I said mountain moving faith is being activated right now by the living, active, powerful Word of God. It is activated right now inside of you. Ephesians 3 and 20, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. Hallelujah. Something has been activated right now. And there's somebody in this house today, you came from something more than religion. I'm preaching to you. There's somebody coming here today, you came with a desperation cry. I'm telling you right now, something has been activated. There is something that has been activated that will raise you from that tomb. It will raise you from that place that had you bound. It will raise you up out of the dilemma that you are in. It'll raise you up. I don't care if they say you know how long he's been dead. He's been dead three days. He's in the fourth day right now. Leave Lazarus alone. Uh -uh. I'm not going to leave Lazarus alone. I'm going to activate Lazarus. Hallelujah. Because faith comes by hearing. And hearing the word of God. An activation comes forth. And activates the word of God is quick. I said it's active, it's alive, and he, hallelujah, that'll believe in it, he that'll pour out himself into it, he that will take it and eat it, he shall be activated by the power of the word and rise above, rise above his dilemma, rise above his captivity, rise above his disease, rise above his sickness, rise above the mountain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, speak to the mountain. Is that my word or is that God's word? Is that my word or is that God's word? Whosoever saith unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe. It shall come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, preacher, you kind of lost it, hadn't you? Hallelujah. You need to get prettied up. Get you some powder on and get it all nice and pretty. And hallelujah. No, I'm going to stand here in the Word of God, and I'm going to stand here. If I look ignorant, I look ignorant. But I believe in this thing. I believe in this deliverance. I believe in this healing. I believe in the miracles uh, that are in the Word of God. I believe they activate the believers. I believe there's an activation. Faith comes by hearing. Hearing the Word of God. Hearing the Word of God. Hearing the Word of God. He is above all principality and all power and all dominion and all sickness and all disease and everything that messes with our joints and affects our body gets into our intestines and gets into our very being. My God is above all of that hallelujah and he said I will quicken you my word is alive and active and I'm going to activate your faith I'll activate that faith you rise you rise when you get activated you rise you're going to rise I don't care how far down you are when you get activated by the word of God you are going to be quickened coming up hallelujah you're coming up, you're coming up, you're coming up, you're coming out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, there's somebody here today. You need to come up. You need to come out. And you need to be free. Hallelujah. You need to be free from that which is tormenting your mind. You need to be free from that which seems so big you're believing in that mountain.
and you're believing you're going to have to live with it and you're going to have to die with it but I believe there's something else that there is a God that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you're capable of asking and above all that your mind is capable of thinking come on hallelujah we done got God figured out today we already right now you're already determining how this service is going to end I wish you would erase your thought right now and let God take over this place right now you've already determined how this is getting by the end right now your mind has already calculated and analyzed the way this is going to finish you need to kick that out right now because my God is able to do more than what your mind is capable of seeing or thinking or believing hallelujah well I can imagine all no God can do more than you can imagine God can do more than that if we will let God be God and kick humanity out of the way he said I am able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask or you can think but it is according to the power that worketh within you if you keep on operating in your fleshly willpower you'll sit there and you'll die oh come on Hallelujah. But if we'll kick our will out of the way, we'll kick the way we think out of the way. Well, but we're comparing it with all the services of the past. We're comparing it with all the church services we've had in the past. Please stop doing that. Let God be God. Come on, you've put him in your box. You've got him and I can I got him here just, just nice and this is how I see him and this is how it's gonna be. Get it out of your mind. We gotta break our box. We gotta break our box. We gotta break our box. The way we see it's gonna be, the way we think it's gonna be today. Hallelujah. Webster's dictionary defines exceeding as going beyond in quantity or degree. Going beyond the bounds or limits to surpass. God is able to exceed what you're capable of asking or thinking. He follows that word up. We're in the New Testament now. We've left Genesis. He follows that word up with abundantly. That's defined as more than adequate, richly supplied, overflowing, and abounding. God is able to bless abundantly which is overflowing and abounding. And then the Apostle Paul follows that up with above all. Above all is defined as higher in rank, authority, power, quantity, or number, or anything else. God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all then you can ask not that you can think will you stand with me right now what I'm going to ask you to do as the musicians will come I'm going to ask you as we come to an end I want you to put everything out of your mind that you have built as far as your box. The best revival service you've ever been in. The best experience you've ever had. Get that out. You haven't You have not seen the best that God's got to give. Hallelujah. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all. 
They're going to start playing in a minute, and I want you to step out. I'm not asking you to step to the front. I'm not stopping you from stepping to the front. But what I do want you to do is I do want you to leave behind your routine for a few moments this morning. Whatever your normal routine is, what time is it right now? 11.30. Whatever you do right now or what you're kind of expecting this service to be or one you've been in before, I want you to get all of that out of your mind because my God is able to exceed Hallelujah. I'm just going to quickly read Scripture in the Word of God. Exodus 1 and 7, And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly. Everybody say it, abundantly. And they multiplied, and they waxed exceeding mighty. Philippians 4 and 6, don't worry about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which... Passes. Understanding. How many of you reach for that? I've reached for that many a time. I quote that scripture often. I want that peace that passes understanding. I want that peace that goes beyond understanding and he shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. First Kings 4 and 29, God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much and largeness of heart even as the sand that is on the seashore. My God, right now today he can do something. Hallelujah. If he's ever done it for anybody, he can do it for you. If he's ever done it for anybody, ever in the word of God, he can do it for you. Psalms 43 and 4, then will I go unto the altar of God and God, my, unto God, my exceeding joy. Hallelujah. Somebody needs this joy this morning. You've been in your tomb for too long. You've been in that place of misery for too long. You've lived with a sour pickle for too long. We need this joy that exceeds where we are. Another scripture calls it joy unspeakable. And full of glory. Hallelujah. It's time. Somebody needs God to show them his glory. Ephesians 2 and 6. And hath raised us together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come he may show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness. 2 Peter 1 and 3, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Is anybody grabbing hold of this this morning? Hallelujah. Come on, there's something beyond what your mind is capable of grabbing a hold of here. Hallelujah. This God that exceeds, this God that says, I somebody needs this. You need peace this morning. You need your deliverance this morning. You need to get you a shout back. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, shout in the glory of the Almighty God. He's able. In Romans 5 and 20. Moreover, the law entered, and offense may abound, but where sin abounds, grace doth much more abound. Hallelujah. Will you step out from where you are? Find you a place. I don't care where it is. Maybe on the left side, right side, back corner, front, wherever it is. But I want you to step out and just for a moment, I want you to close everything out of your mind. I want you to close everything you had ever compared anything to. And I want you to just start saying, God, be God. Your word be activated in my spirit. 
your word be activated in me I believe faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God come on hallelujah you've got a mountain standing before you but that mountain can be moved that mountain whatever it is I don't care how bad the sin is grace doth that much more it exceeds that this grace this mercy of God this help of God some of you are feeling pain in your body sickness in your body something crippling in your joints something messing with your mind I want you to turn it over to Jesus this morning activate me Lord let the word of God quicken me quicken me Lord with your spirit quicken me Lord with your spirit raise me up out of this tomb raise me up out of this place of sickness raise me up out of this dilemma hallelujah 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 Hi, this is Pastor Kevin Martin, and I just want to thank you all for joining us today, tuning in and being a part of our service. We hope that it was a blessing to you and that you were uplifted and encouraged and felt the presence of the Lord. If you would like to know more about our church, please join us at www.atascacitaupc.com and you will find all of the ministries. You will find pictures where you can take a journey and see everything that's been going on at the Pentecostal Church of Atascacita. And uh, we hope that you join us again very soon. God bless you.